I'm Muli Pazmino, and today we're in the thick, dense equatorial jungle. We're actually about to cross the equator line, and right over there is a rare type of howler monkey. The species of howler monkey we have over here is called the mantled howler monkey. You can identify it because instead of being one color, like the brown or the black or the red, it's going to be like a dark brown with kind of like a lighter hue on the back. That's why it's called the mantled howler monkey. It looks like it has a golden mantle. And the specific subspecies is called the Ecuadorian mantled howler monkey. And these guys are actually endangered, so we're very lucky to see them. Mantled howler monkeys eat way more leaves than most other howler monkeys. It makes up to 75% of their diet. Right now, we're being really quiet because I don't want to scare them. But actually, these guys are very loud. That's why they're called howler monkeys. The howls that the male monkeys make can be heard from miles away through the thick jungle. I don't know why they're not making these sounds right now. I wanted you guys to hear the, the really loud screams, but they're being very quiet too. In my recent travels around South America, I encountered three different species of howler monkeys the red howler of the Brazilian Amazon, the brown howler of Sao Paulo, and today, the mantled howler of Ecuador. However, despite the fact that I got so many opportunities, for some reason, none of them ever howled. And it just can't be a good howler monkey video without that iconic sound. Luckily, my good friends Evan and Harrison from the Wildlife Brothers channel were kind enough to provide us with some footage from their recent trip to Costa Rica. The male howler monkey is able to make this noise thanks to an enlarged bone in their neck called a hyoid, which amplifies sound. They use the sound to communicate over long distances, and I discovered that they were very responsive to anything that even resembles a monkey sound. <laughs> Apart from their call, male howler monkeys can be identified by their large size and thick facial hair surrounding their head. Howler monkeys have an extremely prehensile tail that they use as a fifth limb when moving through the trees. Because they live in dense jungles, they are constantly being attacked by parasites such as the botfly on this male's neck and entire populations have been wiped out by mosquito-borne yellow fever. Just like the capuchin monkeys we saw earlier in the season, they are very social creatures that live in close family groups called troops. Unlike the capuchin monkeys though, they are generally less aggressive, and that is why even today they can be found as pets in countries like Argentina. But as I mentioned before, a pet monkey is almost always a bad idea. Apart from the fact that they are wild animals, and some species like this one are endangered, they require constant attention as their curiosity gets them into a lot of trouble. And due to how close they are, genetically, to humans, they are susceptible to many of the same diseases that affect us. This was an awesome experience guys, to see this rare wild monkey so close. But we need to get out of this jungle before night falls. Bueno muchachos, till next time. A special thanks to Evan and Harrison Black of the Wildlife Brothers for sharing this clip of the howling. If you guys enjoy the type of content on this channel, I definitely recommend checking out theirs. They've got some great videos about the wildlife of the Neotropics and their home state of Pennsylvania. The link is in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.